Greetings to all the subscribers. Hope you're doing well today. I'm making another video and this one is going to be called the Calvinist card. I've got some cards here in front of me and you know uh, years ago we used to play this game. It was called Euchre. It was very popular in the Midwest. I grew up playing it as a kid. And I'm not going to explain the whole game to you, but I will just tell you a little bit about it. It's a game where you have four people playing, and there are teams. And uh, after the uh, hand is dealt, a uh, card is turned up. You know, I like to turn a card up. And if that card was hearts, like this one is, then hearts would be trump. Okay, and so even if you had a lower card, like a, uh, a 9 or a 10, and it was a trump suit card, and uh, somebody had played an ace of, say, spades, and you didn't have any spades, well, you could play your lower trump card, and you would beat that ace of spades. All right, well, the reason that I bring this up is because it reminds me of a situation that I run into from time to time when I'm talking about predestination or election or God chose us before the foundation of the world. What will usually happen is somebody may come up and, and they'll play the Calvinist card. Oh, you're a Calvinist. Okay, in other words, by saying you're a Calvinist, that completely rules out anything that may be true about what I'm saying. Or sometimes if uh, it's not the uh, Calvinist card, they may really go for the big one, and that would be you're a hyper-Calvinist. That's like if you're not uh, preaching that there has to be some means whereby men gain eternal salvation, but God does it all by himself. Well, that's hyper-Calvinism. And we have to be afraid of that. Okay, and you know, really what this boils down to, it's kind of like the equivalent of the race card. You know, a lot of times you may be in a situation where somebody will pull out the race card and that automatically cuts off all conversation. Well, first off, I'm not a Calvinist. And I do believe that there are uh, things that, of course, Calvin taught and the reason he taught it is because it was in the Bible. Now, do I agree with everything that Calvin taught? No, I don't. And as a matter of fact, I tend to be more along the Primitive Baptist line. And the Primitive Baptists were teaching what Calvin taught, uh, probably when Calvin was in diapers. Okay, so um, just to uh, go on here a little bit, if someone is uh, coming from that perspective, where are they coming from? Well, a lot of people I see are coming from what I call the bait-and-switch gospel. They preach the bait-and-switch gospel, bait gospel, easy for me to say. And what is the bait-and-switch gospel? Well, the bait-and-switch gospel goes something like this. It's grace, grace, and grace, and... Uh, we're saved by grace alone. All you have to do is, so it's all grace up until a point there where it gets switched to now we have to do something. Well, folks, if you have to do something, and it's not grace anymore. Now it's works. Now, if you want the, uh, the real gospel, the gospel that is grace alone, that's what the primitive Baptists preach. They don't have a bait-and-switch gospel. They have a gospel that states that it's all grace and it's all God alone for salvation is of the Lord. What if we preach that man can do nothing, nothing at all? That would change things a little bit. Does that mean we don't evangelize? No, of course we evangelize. But what is evangelism? And what is the gospel? Well, I have an um, audio teaching for you to listen to uh, from Words of Grace, and it's about 30 minutes long. As a matter of fact, uh, he defines 
many of the terms that we have uh, that we use. Uh, and this last version that he's done is called Defining the Gospel. So I'm going to link this for you. And uh, he will give you all of the scriptures that I'm not giving you right now because I can only do so much in a very short video. So remember, if someone starts to drop the Calvinist card on you, don't let them get away with that. Because just because we say some things that John Calvin believed in and taught doesn't make us Calvinist because much of what he believed and taught are absolutely biblical and uh, and so we should just go with that all right god bless you and have a wonderful day oh by the way listen to the 30 minute link that i have uh, attached to this as well bye bye